Hey, how you doing? Welcome to um, this. I'm gonna do like a new series, and I'm gonna make an intro with um, with FCPX. So just using the tools in FCPX. I'm using no special outside tools, no add-ons, nothing. I'm just gonna use the stuff that's available to us within um, sort of the standard FCPX, and I'm gonna make intros from that. Oh, yeah, so you really. seen the intro. So um, yeah, open up FCPX, and then I'm gonna go file new. Project or press Command N on the keyboard, and um, as you know, you're familiar with FCPX. You get this pop-up, and I'm just going to call it FCPX Intros. Um, we've got an, a, an, an event somewhere called Design, clearly, and the settings that I'm going to use is um, Custom 1080p HD, 1920x1080, and um, frame rate of 30p, and that's just because it fits YouTube nicely using those settings. And the audio render settings or properties, custom stereo, um, audio sample rate 48 kilohertz. Obviously, you can do the pop ups on these if you want. And um, I'm going to use the Apple Pro Res 422. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to click OK. And we've got a new project. So, then what I'm going to do um, for this one, I'm going to go to my text here. So, I'm um, sorry, title browsers. So, if you, if you hover over this, this center line, um, search for title browsers. I'm going to use the first one, um, and it's called Activate. And just lately, they've added some new ones, and, and they are quite good. And like I say, later on in later videos, we will make more. So I'm just going to drag and drop it into my timeline, like so. And I am going to extend it to um, 20 seconds, roughly about 20 seconds long. Um, generally, I would do it for about 10 seconds in my own intro intros, but just for this demonstration, I'm going to do 20 seconds so we can sort of slow everything down. And then I'm going to zoom into my timeline using the little um, the zoom in and out button slider at the bottom here, just to give me more control um, over um, of my timeline. So you see, the first things that we've got, we've got this sort of information, the text, and then we're just going to want to add our own text. Now the way we do this is highlight the activate and um, if we go to the top in the properties window over the right hand side or the inspector um, on the title we've got show background on the text um, we've got the, the type of text so we can change the text with stuff here like this um, but I just want to leave it on the um, on the standard text face and the outline um, we'll mess about with in a minute for the, for the time being all I'm going to want to do is just to, um, to change my text so I'm going to scroll along in my timeline to find the text that I want to change. And you noticed this one I'm going to change to 13 design, 13th design, and then this I'm just going to write it backwards. So N G I S E D, and then I'm going to put the T and the H, the H and the T backwards. But I'm going to leave the 13 forwards. I'm going to leave it the correct way because if you write 31. I tried it. It just doesn't. For me, it doesn't feel right. So I'm just going to do the 13 normal, right? So that's the first first bit that we're going to want to do. Now, just to make the text stand out a little bit more, I'm just, let's just edit some text. Um, you notice I can change it here as well. I can change the the text here. Um, so yeah, just 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 to change the text a little bit more. I'm going to scroll down on my inspector. I'm going to add an outline, but I don't want it to be red. I want it. I want to show, and I want the outline to be um, to be black outline, right? And then the outline, I'm going to make the width a little bit more, just two. And then, if you want to blur it, you could blur it, but I'm not going to want to blur it. I'm just going to um, just going to leave the width on two. I'm going to do the same. Select the outline. So a little blue button, select the outline, change the colour to black, and then just you can type in here two if you want, or just two, and then press enter, and it will make it two. So now and the reason I'm doing this outline is because it helps me later on. So now what I'm gonna want to put here, look, is this spinning. On this one, I'm gonna put FCPX. And this one I'm gonna put intro and this one I'm going to put demo and <clears throat> let's see what happens 
for FCPX. Intro demo, and then here, I'm going to write again, 13th design, and then here, FCPX intro. And let's just see how that reads at the end. Yeah, it reads quite nice. And if I highlight this, and then I'm going to outline them all, okay? So show my outline, color to black, and then um, to enter on the again outline color. You can do a gradient as well, by the way. Drop it down, texture or a gradient. If you make it really thick, you could do a texture, I suppose, and then you would have to select your texture. But just for this one, just keep it as a color. Let's go back on the ones that we had before. Um, likewise, we can do the same with this. You can do it all in one, and I'm just doing it, doing it purposely, um, separately, just because it's good practice to get to to get to using the inspector correctly. Um, and it's good for demo purposes as well. So I'm just doing the same one, same thing, but every single one, I'm pressing enter at the end of it. And now if we play through our timeline, you'll see we've got this nice sort of pre-made intro. And if we shorten or lengthen the actual activate um, title in our timeline, it will speed it up. So let's shorten it to 10 seconds or just 11 seconds let's have now let's look and it just looks a bit neater when it's sped up a little bit make it a little bit faster it looks a bit a little bit neater now i'm gonna add some um some more bits to this just to make it stand out a little bit more right and what we're gonna do we're gonna go to our effects browser so effects browser or just um command key 5 which will take us to our effects and then what we're going to do if we highlight our activate and scroll over each of the um, thumbnails it will show you give you a demo in the window up here what it looks like if that's applied if the um, effect that I'm sort of hovering over is applied so this artifacts looks quite nice but we're not going to use the artifacts what I'm going to want to do um, the broken is quite nice as well. Look, I use this quite a lot. Let's just put a broken on there, right? Or a broke, a boker, a boker random broken, a bo boker random. Um, and you just get these um, sort of artifacts in the back. And if we um, go to our go to our video, we can um, we can change the size of the circles if we want change the number of the circles let's have a few more change the pattern in which they come in at change the blur amount we can change the speed you can change quite a lot um, of the um, of the effects that we that we add right but I didn't add the bocker initially um, or I didn't think about the bocker initially so what I'm gonna um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some side lights and some lights. Not flashing, I'm gonna add um, let's have a look. I'm gonna add some some highlights, right? These highlights, they sort of flash along the bottom look. And if we go to the highlights, you can change the intensity. I just want to turn the intensity down to about about 39, right? And you can change the colours, look, so you can make it cool or warm. I don't want to change the colours, I want to leave them on neutral and drop this down to about 39 and press enter. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some more. Um, some more lights, I think. Let me have a look. Side lights. So, as well as having them coming from the bottom, I want them coming in from the sides as well and again you can change the temperature the cool and warm let me just show you the cool where they're coming from look they're coming from the sides this time as opposed to the bottom um, I'm going to keep, keep them on neutral and again I'm going to make it 39 press enter 
And then what I'm going to do, I am going to add a negative. So all my lights become dark and all my darks become light. So it should give us not quite a nice effect. So now all my lights become dark and all my darks become light. So if we play that through, it, um, it looks quite nice and then you can mess about with the with the effects that you get. You'll notice that yeah, it gives us quite a nice quite a nice feel. So what we could also do, right? Let's just make this really cool. Let's take our timeline back to the start, right? And let's go to our inspector and our video up here. Let's get our negative. Let's drag it all the way down to zero. Drag it all the way down to zero. And I'm gonna click add keyframe. And then I'm gonna drag my timeline all the way back up to around eight seconds. And then I'm gonna drag the amount all the way to the top. And um, that's our intro finished. And I'll show you the intro after the video. I hope this helps you out and I will do quite a few more of these. Really, really simple. And you can do them all within FCBX. Have a, um, have a great day and I'll catch you soon.